Mississippi Gulf Fishing Banks. We're a nonprofit organization that's dedicated to enhancing uh, fishing and diving opportunities for people here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. One of the main ways that we achieve that is to sink artificial reefs. We work uh, hand in hand with the Department of Marine Resources and their artificial reef program. Um, and currently we're working on uh, salvaging this 55 foot steel hull sailboat. Um, right now we're in the process of cleaning it up. We have to make it environmentally sound before it goes down. Uh, anything that can float off needs to come out. So um, anything that's not metal is coming out. Um, the engine's coming out. Once we get it all cleaned up, where we plan on uh, sinking it will be just south of Horn Island. There's two fish havens out there. It'll be either in Fish Haven 2, Fish Haven 13. We dump it within nine miles of Horn Island. That keeps it within the uh, state fishing waters. What will happen, plant life will start to uh, adhere to the hull. Um, there will be uh, uh, soft corals and uh, um, algae and, and those types of things, and that starts to attract smaller fish. And once the smaller fish start coming in, the larger fish will uh, be attracted. It will also attract migratory fish, such as uh, cobia and uh, king mackerel, those types of things. Um, all those bait fish that are attracted to, 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 the, to the reef itself, is, in turn, attracts the larger game fish. Historically, what we do when we sink a reef, we uh, keep the numbers in advance. In other words, the lat longs will hold those numbers back for one year, and after 12 months, uh, we'll put them out to, pu uh, to the public. The reason behind that is to allow the reef to get itself established and try to, try to get that ecosystem going before we start uh, letting people go out there and, and start fishing on it.